Hey everybody, it's John from the Gloucester Library and for today's Let's Draw, let's draw a sailboat. Alright, let's get started. So I'm going to start with my water. I'm going to do it right about here. So I'm going to use that as kind of like, um, kind of like something to guide me. It's like my ground where I know my boat's going to be resting. I'm just using a little, little shallow W shapes to go across there to make my water. And then I'm going to draw the uh, hull of the boat. So first I'm going to do the top line of the hull, do the upper part. And I'm just going to have that come across and up a little bit, just like that. And then I'm going to do the, uh, the stem, the back of the, the hull, the stem, come straight down. And then the bow, the front, I'm going to have that curve inward down to my water line, just like that. All right, now I'm gonna draw the um, mast, and it's gonna come up right about here. I'm gonna try not to go too far so that it's off the page. There we go, so there's my mast. And then I'm going to do the mainsail that comes off the back here. I'm going to start up here. It's going to come out and down and curve in. And I'm going to have it connect with my mast and then have a little curved line here just to show where it connects. And then there's little parts that um, hold it that I'm going to draw. Just poking out right here, connecting it. Just like that. And now I'm going to draw the uh, sail on the front, the jib. And I'm going to have it to where it's blowing in the wind, so it's going to come out. The curve down and then come out and curve and connect here and then we're going to connect them at the bottom here and we'll have a little part coming out here or on the bow and then I'm going to have like a little like flag I think or something on the top of my mast so if you have a little space you can add there, if yours is all the way at the top like mine, I'm going to erase just a little bit of the top and extend it up just a little so that I have some room to add a little flag shape. It's going to be like a pendant flag, so it comes out to a point on the end. And I think I'm going to add a rudder on the back here. So I'm just going to have it come down straight and leave a little space between the, the stem and the rudder. And then have it come down like that. And then show where it connects to the boat. I have a little shape come up there and connect it for steering. Alright, and then I'm going to add like a a few lines across the hull to show that um, you know it's made up of boards. So kind of just try to follow the line for the top here to do your lines for your boards. You could do a whole bunch of little lines if you want going across. I mean, you know, like a, a lot of lines. I'm just going to do a few. I'm not going to do a whole bunch. I think that's good. All right. Now let's add some color. So for the uh, sails, since they're white, I'm just going to add a little bit of gray just to show where the um, shadows are. 
I'm going to use one of my tools that reminds me a lot of a colored pencil. So it'll act the same as a colored pencil typically will. And I'm just going to shade just real light. I'm not going to push down hard. Just a little bit of a gray just to show where the there's some shadow and texture there. And then for the, um, the mast and the supports there, I'm going to use like a brown color. Let me color that in. So I, I shade in lightly at first. And I'll push down harder here at the bottom just to show where there's some shadow. There we go. And then the same for these supports here. There we go. And maybe also for the rudder. Let's see, the boat, maybe I'll make that um, brown too, but maybe I'll pick like a little bit um, darker of a shade, just so that they contrast a little bit. And I'm going to color in with strokes back and forth like this, kind of following my um, the pieces of wood that make up the, the hull of my boat. And then just a little bit harder. I'm going to press down a little harder on the bottom just to show that there's some shadow there. I want it to look like the light's coming from up in the sky. There we go. And I'm going to do like maybe a little red flag. I'm going to do a red color for my, for my flag up here. And press down for a little bit of shadow. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to do like a deep blue for my water. Yeah, something like that. I'm going to start off lightly, just kind of going back and forth. Give it some more, some texture. And it's okay if you don't go all the way up to the tops of the waves. You can kind of say like you're leaving that blank for the white caps. And just lightly just to fill it in there. And then it might do a few darker spots for like shadows in the waves. There we go. And for the sky, I'm going to pick like a, a much lighter blue color for that. And I might leave a little circle space here for my sun. Let's color in there. And try to remember to fill in the spots around the boat and inside of the boat where you'll be able to see the sky behind them. Maybe I'll leave a little spot here for a cloud. So I'll leave that spot uncolored so it looks like a cloud. I'll press down harder at the bottom to show it's like it's getting a deeper shade of the blue as you get closer to the water. Now I'm going to do a yellow sun. I'm going to pick a yellow, a nice bright yellow, and I'm going to do a circle and color it in like that. And then I'm going to press down harder here. Give it a little bit of, even a little bit of shade on our sun. All right, so there is our sailboat. I hope you enjoyed today's Let's Draw, and I hope to see you next time.